In this video, I will demonstrate how to monitor a website developed in an Apex application. Let's get started. In Oracle Cloud, click Observability and Management, and then go to Application Performance Monitoring and click Administration. I can use an existing APM domain, or as in this example, I will create a new APM domain. Click Create APM Domain, enter a name, Select the compartment, and then click Create. Now, let's configure and install the browser agent. Go to Download APM Agents, and then copy the browser agent JavaScript. Next, in the Apex App Builder, open the application you want to monitor. In this example, I will instrument the Acme Shop application. Open the global page. Drag a new static content to the page body. And then open the HTML code editor and paste the browser agent JavaScript. The service name is required. It can be any text. In this example, I will use Apex UI. The web application name parameter is optional. If it's not defined, then the default value appears as default web app. In this example, I enter Acme Shop as the web application name. The next two required parameters are available in the APM domain details. The first parameter is the data upload endpoint. Let's go back to the APM domain details and copy the data upload endpoint. Now, Go back to the Apex App Builder and paste it in two places. First, paste it as the OCI data endpoint and then add it to the source tag that's used to download the browser agent. The second parameter is the data key. On the APM domain details, click Data Keys and then copy the Auto Generate Public Data Key. Go back to the App Builder and paste the public data key. Click Save. This is the basic configuration required to enable real user monitoring. Additionally, I can configure the browser agent to capture a few specific Apex attributes. These attributes will be useful for alerts, dashboards, and performance analytics. With these few JavaScript lines, the Apex version, session ID, the page ID, and the username will be added to the span dimensions. You can find the exact scripts I use in this video in the description below. Click Save, and then click OK. Now the Apex website monitoring is configured. Let's take a look at the real user monitoring dashboard. Now, after some traffic is executed on the Acme Shop application, I can see the real user monitoring dashboard is populated with the end user's data. Make sure to select the correct compartment and the APM domain to view the data for your application. Now, let's take a look at a custom dashboard set up for this Apex application. If you want to create a custom dashboard like this one, you can find a link to this dashboard on GitHub in the description below this video. After you download the dashboard, you can import the dashboard using the Import Dashboard option. Another useful configuration is to enable a drill down to the Database Management Performance Hub using the Apex Session ID and the username collected by the browser agent. Let's go to APM Domain Details and then click Drill Down Configuration. Next, click Create Drill Down. Enter a name and then paste the Database Management URL into the URL field. You can find this URL in the description below this video. And then you must replace the OCID with your database OCID. This will drill down to the Database Management Service Console. In order for this configuration to work, the Database Management Service must be enabled for your database. Now, let's go to the dashboard and then next to the username, click the icon to open the Trace Explorer. Click the vertical ellipse, go to Drill Downs, and then click the link to open the Database Management Performance Hub.
Now, I see the details of the database session for each specific end user action. In this video, we learned how to set up a real user monitor for an Apex website and how to view the monitoring data in Application Performance Monitoring in Oracle Cloud. 